Nvidia just launched 16 free courses on AI. Codebenders, I'm going to show you the five best ones for beginners. The first one is Generative AI Explained. This is an introduction course. It's only two hours long. And this explains you the basic concepts about AI and about this revolution that is happening. Like when people talk about AI these days, it's generative AI, it's this specific type. So you're going to learn what this is. You're going to be able to explain and know like how it works, the various applications of it, the challenges that exist about building generative AI applications and the opportunities that are there in the market because of it. So it's a nice course, introduction to our video. You can just watch it. You click here and continue learning. It's going to open a video that you can watch. You see here that when you open it, you have just like a, a few quizzes, questions, but otherwise it's mostly this big video to watch. And the video is presented basically like slides. There's this guy, like a smart guy who works at NVIDIA. Uh, and then they just explain how this whole revolution works and like the different components of it. Next, we have building a brain in 10 minutes. So this is a very short course, it's literally like 10 minutes. And uh, this one is just to help you understand how neural networks use data to learn, understanding the basic math behind it. So that's like a nice, quick, little course that you can take. But then after this, the nice course you can check is Augment Your LLM Using RAG. RAG stands for Retrieval Augmented Generation. I actually covered this in one of my previous videos, but just to give you a quick overview again, is basically an architecture that was invented in order to give a more high quality context to AI prompts. It is all what it is. It's like you build an external database. This database, you query it whenever the user sends a prompt to an AI, and then you intercept the request, inject that extra context within it, and then you send that to the AI model. And the AI model, obviously, the better the context you provide, the, the better the results. That's the whole purpose of RAG. It's a pretty short course, just one hour long. You're going to understand the basics of what it is, how to use it, uh, like how this retrieval process works. So I highly recommend you guys check it out. And if you open it here, you're going to see that the course basically is this big video to watch. And here's like different slides that visually show you how that RAG architecture works. So you see here is pretty nice. That's like it goes in depth into it. Next one we have is the follow up course to this, which is building RAG agents with LMs. It's a bigger one. It's eight hours long. But here, what's very interesting is that you're going to work with agents. And agents is this buzzword that is like highly trending right now because like this is what the future of AI is going to be, right? Like we're going to have those AI agents that are focused on specialized tasks. And even us, for example, as programmers, right? Like we see with dev and AI, we see with those different AIs coming up. The future is going to be people using agents to perform tasks. And we are more like uh, kind of like chess masters, right? Like we use those agents as pieces on our board to win the game to like solve the problems that we have in an efficient way. And here you're going to see that inside of this course, you'll find scalable deployment strategy for LMs and vector databases. So how to actually deploy them, how to start using them, how to use the more microservice architecture to communicate with them. And you're going to learn about LangChain as well, which is a very uh, powerful tool for retrieval and just to break down like big documents and like create uh, embeddings and all sorts of interesting things. So LangChain is a good tool. Like if you learn vector database and LangChain, that's basically what the RAG is all about. So if I click here to enroll in the course, we're going to see what's up inside. And yeah, you have an introduction, you have uh, a chapter about LMs environment, you have chapter about LangChain and chapter about embeddings. And then you have like quizzes and next steps. Obviously, this course is longer, so it will take you more time. But this is a very powerful concept to learn. If you add RAG to your list of skill set, it's a very good tool to have as an AI developer. And the next one that I want to show you guys is their AI Essentials Learning Series. So this one is not like a course per se, but it's a bunch of different sessions, like lectures over like an hour, hour 30, two hour long on different topics. So this one is like generative AI demystified. So it's also an introduction. This one is changing the world with a career in AI. So it talks about how to get a career into AI. It's different interesting topics. Like you have the main categories here. And for example, if I open artificial intelligence, you're going to see a bunch of different sessions that they have available. And you might find here something that is very specific that fits like a use case that you're interested in. Like For example, if you want to work, I don't know, like on climate change, you see here that actual experts like on a world scale are talking about this topic. So it's very good information to digest for you. Codebenders, I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to start building AI apps, check out this video right here.